Hi, I'm Tabby and I use recycled jars to make sculptures and today I'm using baby food jars to make boobs. These are the little two ounce meat jars that I'm using for this one. Um, I also do use the four ounce jars, uh, but this video particularly is just the, the two ounce. And I start with using some bacon bond uh, or oven clay adhesive all over the jar and lid to make sure that uh, the clay sticks. Here I use ultralight as my, my bulking clay. Uh, I could use this with tin foil, but the ultralight can get a lot smoother, so it's a lot easier to sculpt on top of it. I don't have to spend as much time smoothing, and um, so it's a, it's a good base. I squish it and smooth it until I get the general mound shape and when it's ready I bake it in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and after that I take some super sculpey and put it through my pasta maker on the thickest setting and uh, to adhere it better I put down some more bacon bond so that there's no bubbles or slipping and that way it doesn't crack when it gets baked. <music> I cover it with a sheet of Super Sculpey and I try and uh, smooth it out without the least amount of wrinkling. Uh, I basically just smooth and cut and add in take away clay until it's everything is flush. Here I take the rest of the sheet and I cut it in half because it's a very wide jar and I need long thin strips to reach all the way around of it. And I just try and make it as flat and flush as I can. And uh, I just cut and smooth until I get a general boob shape. <laughs> It's oddly satisfying to cut off the strips like this and make it clean and straight. I like how the bottom kind of looks like a little wonton before I cut it off. to make them in all different shapes and sizes just to be representative of everyone. What I'm doing here uh, is I'm putting little balls of clay and to make uh, like the little goosebump texture. Um, I am making this in what I call pepperoni size. I do mosquito bite, pepperoni, and uh, bologna online for my options. And um, I, I've done some different ones like uh, the puffy and uh, piercings. So here I'm going over the little balls with a rubber shaper and that just kind of smooths it in so that it's more of like a, a, just part of the skin and texture on the skin than a ball of clay. And I will take the nipple itself and I will add texture to it as well. baked and at 275 for an hour again and I'm priming it with a white primer. Here I paint the nipple the nipple color and I usually add brown or red to the skin tone paint just to make it match. <laughs> one of my 
favorite parts and it's dry brushing the texture at the end so that it just kind of makes it pop and brings it to life a little bit better. some different examples of shapes and shades and sizes that I've made. I really like making things like this just because it's representative of all the people who actually have boobs.